Hi everyone, this is Britt, here to show you how to bulk upload map data. First, you will need to enter your data points into Excel or OpenOffice. The first column of your Excel spreadsheet should be the name of the map data point. The second column should be the description of the data point. This field is optional, however, the column must still be present in the spreadsheet. The third column is for latitude and the fourth column is for longitude. As you can see, these are in decimal degrees. Decimal degrees is the only format that our system will take for map data points. Once you have entered this information into a spreadsheet, you will need to save the file as a CSV or comma separated values file. To do that, you click on file, go to save as, name your document, whatever you'd like, and then change the file format to comma separated values or CSV. Then go ahead and click save. Now that the file is saved, we go to the member access area on the active 911 website. From there, we click on the map data tab. Now that we're on the map data tab, we're gonna click on the bulk upload button. A dialog box will pop up and we'll click on the select button next to file. Another window will open up and that's where we select our file that we want to upload. Go ahead and click on that file and once you do that you'll see it appear within the dialog box with a little X next to it in case you want to delete that if you selected the wrong file. Now that our file has been added we can select what type of icon we'd like to use as well as the color associated with the map data points within this file. Once we've selected those, we click on the Upload button. If your data clears our system check, then a preview of your data will show up in the dialog box. It will tell you how many items you are trying to upload, the color and the icon of each data point, as well as the name and description. This is a quick reference that you can go ahead and check through if you'd like. And if everything looks good, then go ahead and click Save. Now when you click the save button, it will highlight in blue, and then it may sit there for a few seconds to minutes, depending on how much data you're trying to upload. If you're trying to upload 5,000 data points, it could take five minutes for that box to go away. One thing to be sure is to not click that button multiple times. If you do, then your data will be uploaded multiple times and you'll have to go through and do a bulk edit. When the box goes away, go ahead and refresh your page and you should see all your map data points that you just uploaded on the map data tab. You can then open your app and go to the position where a map marker should be and start to zoom in. You will see it there. Thanks for watching this how-to video and please leave us feedback in the comment section of what you would like to learn about next.